Welcome to another segment of ACRP TV. Today, our spotlight, a look into the crystal ball with Ken Getz, our amazing crest and our own Nostradamus here. Ken is a great friend of ACRP. He's the founder and board chair of Syscript. He's also going to be one of our speakers at the May 20th conference, uh, providing his wonderful insights. So, Ken, I'm wondering if we could just get kind of a preview from you of your preview of what you're seeing in the future. <laughs> you absolutely can, uh, Michael, and pleasure to be here. I would say uh, calling my talk sort of a Nostradamus-like uh, forecast sounds very much like a doom and gloom, and it's really the opposite. I'm, I'm going to talk enough. a lot more with optimism about what the future might hold, um, but really trying to provide a more realistic and rational assessment of what's happening. And that's something that uh, has been hard to, to do given uh, where we are uh, in, during the pandemic. Um, you know, it, was, it is such an unusual time because we have a whole series of operating conditions that existed before the pandemic that are still there, right? We're still dealing with growing complexity in our protocol designs. Uh, we're still dealing with more customized approaches to targeting patients, to creating the uh, support team and the vendor community and the sites that will be involved in executing the trial. None of that has gone away, but the pandemic has suddenly introduced, and I would say, as many have argued, facilitated the use of a variety of approaches, remote and virtual approaches, uh, remote monitoring, that were primarily piloted initiatives beforehand. They've now become the, the common operating approach during the pandemic. So my talk is gonna try to tease out, based on where we were before the pandemic and where we are now, what does this really mean for clinical trial execution when the pandemic is behind us. So I'm gonna start calling you the positive Nostradamus because I see your <laughs> point. I meant seeing into the future. And as you, as you, as you said it, I realized, yeah, a lot of his, his predictions were kind of kind of downers and they weren't all right either. But but there were, but so you're more the amazing Kreskin or someone more, more positive, <laughs> which is great. Uh, so let, let's just talk just briefly about, I want people to come to the May 20th event and hear this full talk, but the, in a, in a condensed way, can we talk a little bit about, you know, there's this COVID catalyst, you touched on it a second ago. Broadly speaking, do you think a lot of this is here to stay or will we revert to form? Um, I, I won't say will, based on the data, uh, that we're necessarily going to revert to form, but the pendulum will, in our view, based on uh, tough center data, will definitely swing back to a, as I was saying, a more rational application of many of the approaches that we've only learned about during the pandemic. So to give you an example, do we really think based on the evidence that we have that every clinical trial will, uh, will be dominated by remote and virtual approaches? And I, the data suggests that, uh, and we've spoken with a number of sites as well, uh, there's a strong positive reaction to being able to offer patients options so that they can participate conveniently in whatever way works for them. But if we see that uh, we're relying more on offering options and giving patient preference, now we start to see that the level of customization in our trials actually increases. And customization actually hurts speed, it hurts efficiency, it's harder to coordinate. It requires a lot more juggling on the part of uh, investigative site personnel. And so we anticipate more of these hybrid approaches where site operations are going to have to be much more nimble and flexible. Uh, people will need to be trained in order to juggle and manage uh, multiple models simultaneously. Uh, so as the pendulum starts to revert, perhaps uh, to a place where we've moved the needle somewhat, sites are going to have to accommodate that type of hybrid approach. Interesting. Fantastic. We we'll really appreciate this preview. We're looking forward to your talk at the ACRP virtual conference uh, May 20th. 
This has been our ACRP TV spotlight on a look into the crystal ball with Ken Getz. Ken's, of course, the founder and board chair of Syscript. Ken, thank you so much for your time and all you're doing. You're so welcome. I look forward to the program.